Funhavers, we're out here in Las Vegas for LS Fest West and to kick off the 2024 Funhaver Tour with our friends at Fox Factory. And when they showed up, they didn't disappoint. They brought out the new Fox Factory Silverado. If you haven't seen this thing yet, it is absolutely insane. Uh, it's got a complete Baja kit setup, including 14 and a half inches of travel in the front. 15 and a half inches of travel in the rear, a billet trailing arm setup, 700 horsepower, 640 pound feet of torque, carbon fiber everywhere. The thing is absolutely insane. And of course, they're gonna let us drive it. Uh, we also have a ton of good friends out here and we thought what better way to go have fun in this thing than to get them all in the driver's seat. Let's take turns with it, let them check it out, see what they think of it and give us their feedback. So let's see what happens. We're here in Vegas for Holly LS Fest. And the Fun Haver crew said they wanted to toss us the keys to this Chevrolet. What? So something I noticed walking around this car was the amount of carbon fiber that's on it. Did you notice the hood's carbon fiber? Carbon fiber. Fenders are carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Bedsides are carbon fiber. What I think we're most interested about is what's underneath the carbon fiber hood. Chris, could you pop the hood, please? Let's see. Darren, can you open it? Because we don't own Chevys. I heard there's a lot of horsepower, and they oh, opened up geez. this 6.2 liter aluminum V8 with HP tuners and a big Whipple supercharger. Gen 5 I hear. What kind of numbers did this thing make? Way Seven. more. 100 <laughs> horsepower. And like 640 of torque, like that's impressive. I'm uh... Let's uh, can, we, can, I, can I be truthful about something? That's, that's double the amount of horsepower my spec truck makes. <laughs> <laughs> and torque. So, <laughs> this thing should boogie pretty darn well. Style has to go for miles. And this truck has a proprietary method bead grip wheel. With that technology, it allows you to run a lower tire pressure to make sure that bead stays right where you want it. And if you do happen to blow a tire, this thing comes stock with two extra spares in the back. I don't think we're gonna need it, but we are going to put those to the test. Let's check out the suspension that uh, makes this puppy dance. So when I first saw this truck, I noticed how large the coilovers were on this thing. Oh yeah. You notice that they're larger than the ones on the race truck? They are. 3.25 Fox live valve coilovers front and rear. I heard this thing makes a pretty solid amount of wheel travel. We got 14 and a half in the front and some wild number in the back. Uh, I did notice too that it has a Dana 60 rear end, which is pretty impressive. Yeah. Super hyped on that. That's something, you know, when you're getting out there getting loose and things are bouncing around and jiggling around, axle tubes like to move. So I think they fix that with that problem. Oh yeah. But yeah, the Fox live valves are super cool. So it gives you like a lot of position sensitive options while you're driving the car. So deeper in the travel, it kind of tightens things up a little bit. Higher in the travel lets it loose. So you can get an optimal ride no matter where you're at on the trail, in the jumps, oh, yeah. even around town driving around. They're pretty badass shocks. The Baja kits gave this truck the full treatment. Instantly you'll notice that the truck is sitting wider, three inches wider with a billet lower control arm in the back. The visual cue that this thing has got some serious suspension going on. 15 and a half inches of travel in the back, 14 and a half in the front. Let's check out the front. Box lower control arm. First thing you see is a slapper bump stop in there. Billet upper control arm, 14 and a half inches of travel. It should do the job. This thing's got some serious power, so this is what's gonna help keep this thing under control. Dude, I'm excited. We've, we've seen all the like attributes that they have put into this. It's impressive. However, they have to perform. And that's the moment of truth right now. <laughs> all of your horses! <laughs> we're, uh, we're dropping off dropping. this ledge. Yup, yup. Dude, the back of this thing jams. Yeah, I know. It's like literally you get on the gas, it's You ain't doing that in no stock truck. <laughs> no. No leaf spring you doing that. Water! <laughs> 
<laughs> Aggressive. Why is yeah. this so much blood? Sorry guys. <laughs> Little bit. <laughs> It, it carried itself really well and landed way smoother than I thought. When you lay this thing in the corner, it holds so good. It does. I was expecting to push it a little bit more. It's all the wire valve and everything. It's just got to be the whole time. So basically, we came out here and scouted yesterday, uh -huh. and we have pretty much thrown that plan out the yeah, window. Yeah, because every line that we thought would be cool in the K-Truck is not cool in this, because this thing eats it all up really well. <laughs> <laughs> the K-Truck was a little rowdy. This thing, premium. So uh, the guys have gotten to put it through its paces and uh, we've got Hurricane, Kelsey, and YOLO out here. Um, we wanted to let everybody have a turn on it, so gave them the keys, let them check it out, see what they think of the truck too. We've had our fun now. Big time. And we gotta get back to the track. So yeah. some jump stuff. Yeah. This thing's bitching. Uh like we said, it does hoops good, jumps good, sand washes good, two track good. It's comfortable. The seats are nice. Even in the back seat. I have no idea what the stereo is like. We didn't test the stereo. We were smiling it. the whole time. We didn't need to because we no, were yeah, rallying. Yeah, yeah, right. cool. Thank you guys for the opportunity to drive yep. this thing. Bitch. Yep. Well, we gotta go. See you next time. Right. All right, so that's a wrap. Had an awesome day out here ripping this truck around. Everyone got to take a turn. Everyone got to take it for a spin. Um, if you haven't checked it out yet and you need more information, go to foxfactorytruck.com. Go ahead and pre-order yourself one. Uh, they're available now. So big thanks to Fox for bringing this thing out and letting us take it for a ride. Uh, if you like this content and you want us to continue to do these things, uh, that's what we plan to do. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, I'm gonna go take this truck out now. And run until the sun goes down. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>